Thank you for joining us tonight. I'm Lauren Traeger. St. Louis Mayor Lyda Krusen finds herself in the middle of a growing controversy tonight. This coming after the mayor apologized for reading names and addresses of people who want to defund the police. News 4's Alexis Sotos is live outside the mayor's home tonight where protesters are still gathered. So Alexis, what's the scene like there? Well, Lauren, there are definitely still around 100 people that have gathered outside of the mayor's home tonight. These flyers were posted on cars around this Central West End neighborhood, and I'm going to have Chris zoom in to give you an idea. If you take a look, you can sort of see through the group that there is paint on the ground. They have painted the words resign. The chant is protesters shut down Kings Highway and Lindell called on Mayor Lida Krusen to resign. Protesters marched to the mayor's home in the Central West End. On their way, a couple came outside of their home holding guns. Protesters kept going, parking themselves in front of the mayor's house. Shut it down. The growing call comes after Friday's Facebook Live video. They presented some um, uh, papers to me about how they wanted the budget to be spent. The mayor went on to share the names and partial addresses of some who shared their opinions on defunding the police, a demand of protesters. The names and addresses are public record, but the mayor has apologized, saying, never did I intend to harm anyone or cause distress. The update is removed, and again, I apologize. That apology is not accepted by Emily Edgel. You don't understand. I mean, that's the nicest way I can put it. You couldn't possibly understand. She and her sons have been marching in many of the protests over the last month. She wants the mayor to step down. So do more than 38,000 who've signed a petition started on Friday. Alderwoman Kara Spencer is running against Cruson in next year's mayoral election. She denounced the Facebook video but stopped short of calling for res resignation. Look, it's a tough time to be a mayor. Uh, but it's our job as elected officials to rise to the challenge um, and to put first the, the safety um, uh, and well-being of those that we're elected to serve. Critics have said the mayor's reading of names and partial addresses put lives at risk, but it's not uncommon at public meetings and is a requirement at St. Louis County Council meetings for anyone making a comment. The email must contain the commenter's name and physical address. If the mayor resigned, Board of Aldermen President Lewis Reed would take on the role. But a spokesperson for the mayor says she has no intention of stepping down. So you can see here there were barricades that were put up all around the mayor's home and some of the other houses in this neighborhood earlier today. Those were put up by police. Most of them have been knocked down at this time. Again, the mayor has called what she did on that Facebook a mistake and has apologized. But she says through a spokesperson tonight that she has no intention of resigning. Reporting live, Alexis Zotos, News 4. Thank you for tracking that out there, Alexis. I really appreciate it. Now, those pictures that Alexis mentioned of the Central West End homeowners with weapons certainly gaining a lot of attention on social media with some people supporting them for protecting their property and a lot of other people strongly criticizing them. Now, we don't know a lot about the circumstances surrounding this or how it led up to this, but tonight I did reach out to the police to see if they were called to the home and what they think about it all. We're still waiting to hear back from them. A woman also answered the phone at the number listed for the property, but when asked if the homeowner was available, she said not tonight. Certainly it's a situation we will continue to track.